Gaffer, Port Vale to come tomorrow night, but first of all, it's only been a couple of days since we were up at Wigan. Just your reflections on the performance a couple of days on. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit disappointed, a little bit frustrated. Um, I thought we was pretty dominant in the first 30 minutes in terms of possession and territory, but it didn't really create enough, um, not enough dynamic movements in the final third, not enough positive in the run, uh, positive movement in the runs. Too many people closing spaces off, and we spoke about that this morning. Um, and then, obviously, the sending off is a, is a huge turning point, and we made decisions, we made substitutions to try and protect some of the players because we knew we had a game Tuesday. We thought with the shape that we went with in the second half would frustrate Wigan and, and try and get us to the last stages of the game in contention. We wanted it to be nil nil with 75 minutes to go, and we knew we had legs and forwards on the bench. And we just got it that we, we switched off from one set play. It's a good routine from them because they've, they've done it um, in a previous game against Oxford. Um, so, yeah, disappoint, a little bit disappointed. Um, I think we've let a couple of games, you know, if we're six points off the playoffs and we've probably let, we've left six pa- six points in the last probably four or five games, we've left six points out there. So, a bit of disappointment. And you mentioned the subs on Saturday there. They all came quite early. Just how tough physically has this not just the last couple of weeks, but since maybe the beginning of February, been on our on our squad, which is still young. Yeah, well, it's the way we play, and it's also the 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 athleticism that we ask of our our wingers, the athleticism that we ask of our fullbacks. Liverpool are a good example. We play the, the way that we press is very similar to Liverpool, and Jurgen Klopp asks his players to go for 60, 70 minutes maximum, maximum, and then he's obviously bringing Salah on, he's he's bringing Gapko on, and we just haven't got the options in the wide areas. Obviously, got you. Two young lads um, that have legs and have energy, but they are centre forwards. We have Pigs, um, who now has had his rest. We 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 expect a big nine nine games from Pigs going forward, but we've just got no flexibility in the wingers. So we protected Ollie O'Neill. Okay, I can keep Ollie on. Ollie was a threat. Uh, I can keep Shaq on, but for the majority of the game, we was going to have to do de- defensive work, sliding, shifting, and then when we counted, we would have had to ask them to run and sprint 60, 70 metres. That would have been tough. And we still could have lost the game. So we would arrive there Monday morning, still chasing our tail, the fatigue. Well, they've actually had a free week last week. And now they've only played 40, 50 minutes respectively. And now they, they should be fresh, they should be ready to go. So there's no excuses from them too now. Um, but it has been tough. You know, you look at the you look at our starting free against uh, Wigan. And we've mentioned it a lot. This is the first month, second month of Ollie O'Neill's career. Shaq Ford's 19, it's his first career in the EFL. Ruel's first ever, ever, um, ever season in League One. And then you're playing against people like McGuinness, who've won League One. McManaman has played in the Premier League Championship. Um, Asgard had 40 odd games in the Championship last year. You know, they've not got Charlie Wyke or Callum Lang, they just let them go in January. But you are dealing with some really, really big, big, big players and, and big squad big players at this level anyway. Um, so it can be tough. I think the, the the reason why Ports were at the top of the league is because they recruited really well in the summer. Then they hit a bit of a rough patch and then they went out in January and got Callum Lang. They got Tom McIntyre. They got him Moxon. Um, and they got one more, which has slipped my mind. But the recruitment was really, really good. You know, and they've, and, they've, and they've pushed on. So we're just lacking the wide areas. We couldn't do anything about Fio getting injured. We couldn't do anything about Jordan Graham getting injured. And obviously Dan Aggie was a, was a big disappointment getting injured as well. So we are lacking probably. Monks pulls out. Dan Hap's injured. So we've got a good squad. It's just that we're missing some five or six big players for us. How are we looking team news-wise ahead of tomorrow? Because as you said there, Monks pulled out with illness, didn't he? Yeah, we've, Monks hasn't trained today, so he'll be, he, he won't be starting. Um, we hope that he... His antibiotics kick in now and he might be on the bench. Dan Dan Adiajai has got uh, food poisoning, so he's very doubtful to be on the squad. So young Zach will come into the squad, he'll probably be on the bench. Um, other than that, we're, we're, Bex obviously has been struggling in training the last few weeks, hence we brought him off, so he should be OK. Paul Vale to come, they're down the bottom of the table, on a tough run, but under new management, what, what kind of challenge are they going to give us? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not the start that, that Darren Moore wanted, a successful manager in this league with Sheffield Wednesday. Um, we expect a team coming fighting for their lives. You know, they're, they're the bottom league for the reason, but they're the fighting. And he was in the game against Shrewsbury, it wasn't much in the game. They just conceded from two two poor goals. So, um, we expect any any game in this league, you look at our 
our run that we went on, we had P Portsmouth away, Bolton, Charlton, some big, big clubs. We've actually struggled at home against the Burtons, the Bristol Rovers, is the teams that have come and camped in. So we just think we're, just, we're going to change a, a few things and hopefully he'll help us. It's a few hundred tickets left, they're only a tenner tomorrow, so just your message to the fans. Only a tenner? <laughs> your message to the fans who haven't got their tickets You need yet. that guy who does Bosch, don't you, to sell them. <laughs> hey. No, listen, we, we know how much um, the expense of, of everything is at the moment. Um, but listen, we're trying to, as a club, we're trying to do our best, reduce the tickets to a £10. So do your best to try and support the players. Um, we need it. Um, and let's try and let's try and win the game. Let's try and win this game. Stevenage have got a tough game against Peterborough on the Wednesday. And le let's try and go into the weekend with a three-point gap with them. Obviously, Lincoln are coming into it, Oxford and uh, Blackpool are there. So, listen, we're in the mix. We're having a good go. Um, but we do. This is if we lose on, on if we lose on on um, on Tuesday, it's going to be very very tough. So we need your support.